Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss the same origin policy. Same origin policy is a concept in terms of web application security. So what this policy says, according to this policies, a web browser should only permit scripts available in a web page to access the data of another web page when both the web pages are from the same origin. If the web pages are from different origins, then the script from one page cannot access the other page to read the sensitive data. When we talk about the scripts here, then the scripts which we are talking is JavaScript. We know that almost all browsers support JavaScript by default. They provide the JavaScript engine to run the JavaScript on the web page. So the same origin policy prevents these JavaScripts to access the data of another web page. Let's say if this policy won't exist, then anyone can read the sensitive information of a web page by running the JavaScript from another web page. For example, if you have any web application open like your banking application. And meanwhile, you open another web page in the next tab to look for some information online. And eventually you landed on a web page where you get the desired information. But let's say that a web page has malicious scripts used by some hackers. So the moment you click on any link or button on the malicious web page, then the hacker can run their JavaScript to fetch the details of your bank account because you have opened your bank account in another tab. And then this information can be used by hackers to hack your bank account. So because of this security threat, this same origin policy is introduced. So that script cannot be run across different origins. Now, first of all, let's see what we mean by same origin. When we talk about the origin that contains the protocols of the web page URL, like HTTP or HTTPS, then the host name, for example, amazon.com is the host name of the URL. And then the port number. So if there is any port number available while you browse the website, it means the site is running on this specific port. Now let me go to this web page, which contains information related to the same origin policy. Here in this table, you can relate that which web pages are from the same origin and which are from different origins. Let's say that you have one web page with the URL http store.company.com slash directory slash page.html. So here in this URL, http is the protocol and store.company.name is the domain or host name. After that, we have few URLs listed in this table. To compare which URL we can say that both are from the same origin and which are not from the same origin. So if we go to the first URL, we can see that protocol is the same if we compare with this URL. If the protocol is same, then we can compare the host or domain name. Here the domain name is also same store.company.com. So in both these URLs, protocol and domain name are same. And because we don't have any port number in both the URLs, then we can say both URLs are from the same origin. So here the only difference in both the URL is the path of the web pages. And in same origin path can be different. Because we can have different pages in a web application. Because the domain is the same. It means that both pages are from the same origin. Then in the second example again the protocol and domain name are the same. The only difference is the path. So we can say that this is also from the same origin. Now, if you go to the third example, here we can see that the protocol is different. Here the protocol is HTTPS, while here it is HTTP. Though the domain names are same, but protocols are different. So if the protocol is different for the same web application, then also we can say that this is not from the same origin. And then in this example, protocol and domain are the same. But you can see here we have port number 
mentioned over here but here in this url we do not have any port so again this is not coming from the same origin because if the website is the same but they are running on different ports then according to the same origin policy they are from different origins and then in the last url we can see that here the domain name is totally different so this url cannot be from the same origin because this url belongs to some other web application when we have the urls from the same origin then it means we can run our javascript from this web page and can access the data of this web page because both are from the same origin but if you try to run javascript from this web page to access the data of this url then it won't allow us to run this script due to the same origin policy now let's see this by one of the live example so here i have this web page open in my browser and let me open another web page of the same origin by clicking on this link here here you can see we have another web page open here with the same origin here the protocol and domain name is same for both the web pages it means that they are from the same origin now let me open another web page which must be from a different origin let's say the web page is from apm.io here we can see the domain is totally different than the domain we have here for developer.mozilla.org so these two web pages are from different origins now let me open the dev tools in chrome browser and then i can go to the console so as we have discussed that almost all browsers support javascript and they provide javascript engine to run your script on the web page here in the console also i can run the javascript to fetch the data using the elements we can even update the information on the web page by running the javascript currently i have opened the dev tools on this web page and the javascript command which i am going to run will run through this web page only to run the javascript from this web page i need to go to this web page and then here also i need to open the dev tool and then from the console i can run the javascript on this web page now let's say i want to run the simple javascript command to fetch the data by passing the web page url and to do that javascript provides a command called as fetch and then we can provide the url of the web page which we want to fetch first i'll pass the web page url which has the same origin as this web page so this url is having the same origin as the url from where i want to run the javascript let me paste the url here and if i hit enter then you can see it did not give any error and here is the response from the web page because the web page from where i have executed the script and the web page for which i want to read the data are from the same origin so it is allowed to run the javascript as per the same origin policy but if they are not from the same origin then the browser won't allow me to run the javascript now let me try to fetch the web page information which is having a different origin let's copy the web page url for apm.io and let me paste the url over here and again if i hit enter then you can see it gives the error refuse to connect to apm.io because it violates the content security policy so we are getting this error because we are trying to read the content of a web application from different origin now you can relate how the same origin policy prevents these javascript from accessing the data of another web page without this policy anyone can read the sensitive information of a web page by running the javascript from another web page nowadays we all do online banking through the web application of most of the banking providers and along with the banking web application we used to open other web pages in the next tab or window of the browser 
to search or to look for some information online and eventually we land on different web pages which we think that we can get the desired information but most of the time we cannot trust on the website whether the web page has some malicious code used by the hackers so the moment we click on any link or button on the same web page then the hacker can run their javascript program to fetch the details of your bank account because your bank account web page is already open in one of the browser tab and then this information can be used by hackers to hack your bank account so because of the security reason the same origin policy is introduced so that no one can execute their javascript which are across different origins that's it for today in my next video we'll see what is the role of same origin policy in selenium till then keep watching my other videos and i hope you like this video please put your comments in the comment box also please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you